Uh, the Lakers, I don't know if you heard, Jay, uh, were eliminated from postseason contention last night. Uh, that season has been a complete catastrophe. We've talked about that a little bit on the air today. What's your take on the Lakers and where they go from here? It is the most disappointing season, I think, in sports history. I'm not talking about Lakers history, sports history. We were supposed to have a finals matchup of the Lakers versus the Nets. You have three guys on this team. We have five Hall of Famers. We have three guys who are actively kind of similar, close to in their prime. And I'm not saying LeBron James 37, but he's still in the MVP yeah. conversation, right? So coming into the season, the fact that they've gone through so much, it, it's it completely a disappointment, the biggest one in sports history. I don't know where they go from here because cap-wise, it feels like they're stuck. Mm -hmm. It does. And for Russell Westbrook, who could be the highest paid player in the NBA next season, you can't move that contract. Anthony Davis, uh, we always say, well, when he's healthy, when is the biggest operative word in that statement? I don't know when he's healthy. Played 39 games this year, 36 games last year. So, look, the question comes down to will LeBron James want to be able to go somewhere else if he doesn't see a winning measure or formula in L.A.? But I don't think he can go anywhere else because I think people will build a narrative that he's running away from its team facing the challenges that essentially he might have created. A little bit of time left here. Uh, Brian, do you think the Lakers can retool and become a championship contender in one offseason? I don't think they can retool. I think their only hope is that they can somehow be healthier and better and maybe win 10 or 12 more games and be a play-in or back-end playoff oh. team next year. Oh! Doesn't sound so, good. Zach? And he still be below 500 with winning 10 or 12 more games. That's, That's right. what you're wouldn't, saying. Wouldn't even get him back there. Zach, your thoughts? Tall order, if only because I don't know how we can reasonably expect LeBron to get healthier as he gets older, as he enters an unprecedented level of minutes for a player of his age and stature. I just think we shouldn't assume that he ever plays more than 60, 65 games in a season. Again, Anthony Davis will see. So I think, I think championship contention next year is going to be a, a, a very high bar to pass. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.